Hi friends, Kate Mosier here. Welcome back to Slow Mo Mondays. Today we are doing some balance postures. Grab something like a block or a chair or a piece of furniture that's stable to be with you. Alternately, you can go over to the wall in your space. The wall is a wonderful tool because I think most of us probably have a wall accessible to us while we practice and walls can be a tool for so many awesome things. So don't forget that you have that in your toolbox. So let's start in our Tadasana posture. Once again, our mountain pose, wide legged stance, if you wish, four corners of your feet, grounding down into the floor, lifting up all 10 toes and then placing them back down. Your knees are soft but strong. Your hips are facing forward. You're open across your chest. Your shoulders are back and down. Your palms can come forward or rest at your sides. Your eyes can come down to the floor or you can close them. Just allow yourself to arrive. Whatever is going on in your life outside of this moment in time will be there when you come back and just allow yourself to pay attention and tune in to that natural rhythm of your breath pulling the air in through your into your body through your nose or your mouth exhaling through your nose or your mouth allowing your breath to talk to your nervous system, just allowing you to find some calm and arrive. If your eyes are closed, slowly blinking them open. We're gonna start with our right leg as our um, balanced leg, our balancing leg, and our left leg, we're gonna make it fly. Not like that but um, you're gonna lift it up. So ground down into your right leg, pressing into all four corners of your feet. You can bring your left leg a little closer to your right if it was in a wide-legged stance. I wanna give you a lot of options here, so just pay attention and decide which one is gonna work for you today. So the option one is just to lift your heel up keeping your toes on the floor, having a bent knee. From here, you can put your hands on your hips and just pause, really engaging into that right leg and just pressing into the ball of your foot on the left. If this feels good and you'd like a little bit more, you can lift that foot up off the ground. It doesn't have to come high. If you like the foot off the ground, but you're having a hard time balancing, you can grab a block or that furniture if it's low enough and just put your foot, the ball of your foot on that. If that feels good and you'd like even more, you can lift your knee and thigh up high while flexing that left foot and pausing here. This is a great place to mention that you can always come over to your wall using your wall to balance on as well. Wherever you are, just tune in and allow. Exhale that left foot down, pausing, noticing, allowing, and then when you are ready, ground down into that left foot, all four corners of your foot pressing into the floor, your toes almost acting like they're gripping the floor beneath you if that is accessible for you. If not, just imagining the energetics of those engagements can be really powerful. And then when you're ready, you can lift those Heels off the ground, bringing your hands to your hips. If this feels good and you'd like some more, you can bring that foot up to the block. You can lift your toes off the ground ever so slightly. It doesn't have to be high. Remembering the wall is always there to support you. 
If you'd like even more sensation, you can lift that thigh up, bending the knee and flexing that right foot. Noticing if the balancing feels different on this side versus the other. And then bring your foot back down to the ground. Letting your arms come down, just noticing how you feel, noticing if you're building some heat, noticing if your breath is changing. Those are all really natural things that can occur when we practice some gentle movement. Using your breath as your guide, we're gonna start again on that right leg as our support leg, grounding down into that right leg, gripping with your toes. And this time with our left, we're gonna bring our heel and kickstand it against our right ankle. You can bring your hands up to your hips here, and we're gonna move into our tree pose. You can stay right here in your tree. This is a balancing posture as it is with both feet on the ground. You'll notice a lot of your stabilizer muscles are beginning to wake up and talk to you now. And those are the muscles that we really want to um, utilize to really practice our balance. You can stay right here. You can grab that block or piece of low furniture once again and rest your foot against the block. Again, reminder that the wall is always there. If you'd like even more sensation, whoo, you can bring that left foot up to rest on your right calf, right thigh, wherever feels comfortable for you. Really grounding down into that right foot. With your hands on your hips, you can stay right here. If you'd like a little more sensation and challenge, you can extend your arms up to the ceiling. You can bring your hands into prayer. You can find your version of your tree. Remember, trees are constantly in motion. And when you're ready, exhale that left foot back down to meet the right and just pause. Notice the difference on your left side versus your right right now and breathe. Beautiful. Okay, let's move over to the other side now. Grounding down in that left foot, all four corners engaged, your toes acting with that little gripping motion, bringing your hands up to your hips, and then bring that right heel over to the left ankle and kickstand it against it, pausing here. You can stay right here. You can place that block under your foot. You can get the wall going if you need or if you'd like. And if you'd like even more sensation, you can bring, whoa, that um, right foot up to the left calf or thigh. I'm gonna fall out, <laughs> that's okay. It's all part of the practice. It's practice, not perfection, right? So from here, really grounding down in that left foot. <laughs> and then you can bring your arms up to the ceiling you can bring them to your hips again. Oh, I'm gonna fall. That's real life, y'all. <laughs> bring your foot back up if you fall out. And pause. Ooh. Okay, here we go. And then wherever you are, bring that foot back down and let it all go. Hmm. Bring your feet out really wide. Bend your knees and just flop your arms on your sides as you twist. And then slow down, coming back to center. Heel toe your feet back together. Beautiful. We're gonna do one more balancing posture today. Warrior three, and we're gonna do it at the wall. So if you're not already at the wall, make your way over there, and I'll meet you over there too. Okay, friends, 
from the wall. You're gonna have a wide stance. Your feet are grounded into the floor. And just bring your hands up so that um, you're about an arm's length, your arm's length away from the wall. Okay, beautiful. Then we're gonna start with our right foot as our support foot. So I'm gonna bring my left foot back behind me, almost like a high runner's lunge here. My right knee is bent and I'm gonna stay right here for a moment, grounding down into that right foot. And then if I'm feeling like my balance is good and I'd like to have a little more sensation, I'm gonna to begin to lift that um, left foot up off the ground, keeping my toes facing the ground and dragging my hands a little bit further down the wall. My hips are facing forward, so I'm not opening up across that left hip, I'm keeping it facing the ground. If I'm feeling frisky, I can bring my hands down off the wall now, really keeping that grounding in that right foot. Arms can come out to the side, you can come up to heart center, and then just find your place and find stillness for a moment. And then come on back up. Beautiful. Okay, let's use our left leg this time as our grounding leg. So same beginner stance, my feet are wide, toes facing towards the wall. My arms are about an arm length, your arm length distance from the wall. And then I'm gonna step my right foot back in a high runner's lunge, bending into that left knee here. And I can stay right here, or if I'm feeling frisky, and I'd like some more sensation, can begin to lift those right toes and foot off the wall, keeping that right hip facing towards the floor, dragging my hands a little further down the wall. If I'd like more sensation, <laughs> um, I can bring my hands out to the side or up to prayer, and I can kick that leg up further, keeping the foot flexed or keeping my hands on the wall the whole time. Finding stillness here, and then coming back up. Beautiful. So that's it, y'all. That's our balancing posture for Slow Mo Mondays. I'm so glad you joined me, and I'll see you next week. Bye, friends. <laughs>